Well, are you having a tough day beating yourself up about a mistake you made or a way in which you fell short? Well, what you need is a confidence expert. Next, professional advice to help us get rid of the negative thoughts and believe in ourselves a little bit more. Kevin? After the cold front, I'd say our forecast is also having a few negative thoughts, but it too shall get past them as we get into tomorrow. Your high for today was minus two. We're cooling from there. Your five day coming up. You're watching CTV News, Calgary. All right, let's be brutally honest. Most of us lack confidence, no matter what we portray on the outside. We feel really badly when we mess up, and we punish ourselves for our shortcomings, but that negative self-talk can really hold us back. What we need is a confidence expert. Enter Natalie Plamondon Thomas here to help us get unstuck and move forward with confidence. She's an author and a confidence coach. Hi, Natalie. It's very nice to see you today. Good morning, Jocelyn. So great to be on your show. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure. You know, what's really shocking for me is the data. About 70% of our thoughts are negative. Uh, somebody has studied that and discovered it. Uh, what is negative self-talk and why is it so damaging? So uh, think about, we have between 50 and 80,000 thoughts per day. And 70%, it's an average of 31 negative thoughts per minute. And now during the pandemic and everything that's happening, it seems that that negative voice is even louder than ever. But we don't talk to other people like that. You don't walk around and tell your friends, hey, you look fat in these jeans. Or, oh, you're starting a business? It's never going to work. You're not good enough. So we trash talk ourselves all the time. Like, who would want to be your friend if you talk to them the same way you talk to yourself? Mm -hmm. It's it's has a huge impact on the way we have our own confidence in ourselves. So the negative talk makes you more negative. Would you agree with that? A hundred percent. Yeah. You actually yeah. studied neurosciences to drill down on all of this. Uh, Why did you take that route? What's your story? So I'll take you back maybe when I was just starting to speak professionally about 12 years ago. I had just gotten a contract with an organization who wanted me to train their sales force. But the truth is, when I hung up the phone, I felt like a fraud. I remember sitting in my office hearing this nasty voice in my head telling me, you're not a real professional speaker. Like, you're going to mess that up. It's never going to work. And that's when I made the connection between confidence and my own inner language. I realized I need to figure out a way to stop that negative self-talk. So I spent the last decade studying neuroscience and created a system to change the voice inside my head. So that's the system I shared in my eight international number one best-selling books. That's the system that's at the base of all my online courses. And today I work with entrepreneurs who want to find confidence so that they can make money living from their passion and with people who want to just unlock their full potential. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got two steps that can get us started on changing that negative self-talk. I imagine you practice these all the time. Time, so share them with us. So um, I'll tell you first about how the brain works. So you all have a personal assistant in your head that's taking notes and making sure that everything that you say or think gets done. But the problem is people wake up in the morning, they look at themselves in the mirror and they say, oh my, I'm so stressed out. I think I'm gaining weight. I'm so tired. So your personal assistant writes it down, tired, stressed out, gaining weight, got this, okay tired what can I do oh I know I'm gonna keep her awake all night so she's gonna be very tired in the morning check stressed out oh I know I'm gonna make her forget a meeting and I'm gonna make her delete it by accident from her calendar so that's gonna be very stressful check uh, what's next on my list gaining weight oh that's an easy one I can certainly find a chocolate bar or something deep fried for her to eat today so your personal assistant is just following your request so you have to be very careful how you talk to your personal assistant. So here's the technique. If you have a negative thought in your head, okay, you start by step one, you repeat it in the past. So you hear yourself say, I'm so stressed out. Or you hear yourself say, I'm so bad with technology. You know, a lot of people are saying that right now. Mm -hmm. So you catch yourself and you say, wait a minute, what did I just say? I used to think that I was bad with technology. I used to be stressed out. So the brain hears it and it's true. And then it wonders, um, are we done with this? Why are we talking about this in the past? So then immediately you follow with step two, a, a progressive statement. So progressive statement starts with, I am willing to learn or I'm in the process of. 
So you hear yourself say, I'm so bad with technology. Step one, I used to be bad with technology. Step two, now I'm willing to learn where it is that I have to click on Zoom <laughs> or, or where it is that, uh, or, or if you hear yourself, I'm so stressed out. I used to be stressed out. Now I'm in the process of creating a balanced life from myself. For well, they're good first steps to getting us all to be less hard on ourselves. And I think at the end of the day, if we're a little bit more forgiving for ourselves, to ourselves, we might also be more forgiving to others. And that could be a really good thing. Natalie, it's been a pleasure to talk with you today. Thanks so much for sharing this valuable advice. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Have a great day. And you can get more information about Natalie's uh, techniques and some of her secrets that she's sharing to Less negative self-talk, more positivity. Thinkyourself.com, or you can find her on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as well. Ian.